guys welcome back so today I wanted to do a video that I haven't done in a long time and that is a face of the day I used most of the products from the Clinique party favors and I showed you guys this in my last haul video that I got this for Christmas and I used most of the products so I, I like the way that my makeup came out today and I thought well let's talk about what I used on my face so okay so starting off we'll, we'll start with foundation I picked up uh, this foundation last night from uh, my local Kroger store and um, they're having a closeout and some beauty products where they're 50% off. This, this particular color was 50% off. Not all the colors, just this one. And this is Spice Beige. And I have been hearing a lot about this foundation, so I thought it was a good opportunity to give it a try. So I paid like $5 and change, I think, on it for it. This is Spice Beige. I kind of took a chance on the color, but it worked. This is what I'm wearing. So anyway, this is my foundation. And then for powder, I finished it off with a uh, Josie Moran Matchmaker Powder Foundation. And this is light medium. And that's what it looks like. As you can see, I have hit pan on this. So that's what I have uh, as my powder, finishing powder over the foundation for a little extra coverage. Because I find this is about a medium yeah, light to medium coverage. Of course, I use concealer under my eyes, and I like to add a little concealer around the dark areas here. Uh, okay, so then um, for sculpting and bronzing powder, I used this Dior um, palette. Not palette, but um, compact. It's Dior Nude. Nude Dior Skin Nude Natural Glow Sculpting Powder in and it's number 040 Golden Caramel. And this is what it looks like. And I have had I have two of these powders. I have 040 and 050. And I have had these powders for some time. And I think that I am finally figuring out the best way to use it where you know it where it works so yeah that's uh, around this area here kind of like a bronzer sculpting for blush I am wearing the essence groupie at heart And I think I showed you guys, I know I showed you guys in, it might have been my last video as well, my whole video. This is a beautiful blush. It's very pigmented. Okay, for, I use concealer under my eyes. I don't have that here with me. But to set the concealer, I used um, my Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm, this works really well. It's very uh, light, so it's not too heavy for under the eyes, you know. It does a good job at setting and brightening. Okay, so. Let's get to the eyes. I used shadows from the Clinique Party Favors set. 
And this is what I did. Of course, I primed my eyes. Let me take these um, sponges out. And at the end, I'll take off my glasses so you can see. Um, on my lids, on my, I would say the inner two-thirds or so, I used, not the inner, the outer, I'm sorry. <laughs> the outer two-thirds, I used this one here, this color. And I'll swatch that for you. It's a, kind of a taupey color, but it has a little bit of pink in it, to it. there on the uh, on the outer corner I used this darker one there and then up in the crease area just a tiny bit of this raspberry looking color because I didn't want my you know I didn't want it to be too red because this, this is very pigmented color there. So just a very little bit up in the crease area. And then on the inner corner, I used this light pink. And then I lined my eyes with the um, liner that came in the set. And this is Intense Black Honey. And I love this liner. So here's the deal. This is the first time I'm using these products from this set. Apparently, the liner is broke, as you can see in, in the tube here. There's the liner, and it's broke. So I was able to use, you know, what was at the top. And I didn't even realize it until I tried to advance the product some more. But it was not advancing. It wasn't coming up. So that's when I realized that the pencil is broke. So I am very disappoint disappointed. I do like it. Actually, I love the color. Let me see if I can get a swatch for you. It is that black honey. Um, that's it there. So I do love the product, but I'm really disappointed that, um, you know, it's broke in there. So I, there is no way for me to advance the product. I am considering taking it back to the store and uh, just, you know, to see if there's any way that they can help me with that. Uh, I know I, I, you know, I won't be able to get a new kit because I doubt that they'll have any in stock. But even if they just change this for me, I would be happy because I love the kit. So anyway, that's the liner. For my lips, I used the roundest raspberry chubby stick that came in the Clinique gift set and that well I am wearing it but anyway here's a swatch that's it there and I love this color that's it there I did line my lips with a NYX lip liner and this one is called a pinky I thought this, you know, was closest to the um, the color of the the chubby stick, the lipstick. So that's the liner, and I think that's it. Oh, for mascara, I am using my CoverGirl 
Lash Blast volume because I did not want to open the, the mascara which came that came with this kit and that is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This came with the kit but I didn't open it as yet. I want to kind of finish off what I have opened. So yes, so that's it for everything that I have on my face and now I will remove my glasses so you can have a look. My, um, my right eye is watering a little bit. I'm going to zoom you in. There you go. So I do like the colors that came in this kit. Love it, love it, love it. A little bit different for me, but it's really nice. So we'll see um, if we can get anything done about the eyeliner. Oh, that was such a disappointment. If not, my loss. So anyway, uh, yeah guys, I hope that you liked this face of the day. I am quite pleased with the way my makeup came out today. My hair is, as you can tell, it's a little bit, you know, it's growing out. I do have an appointment on Friday to get it just cut a little bit. Um, yeah just needs cleaning up a little bit so that's why it's looking so big <laughs> and uh, what else I wanted to oh for my nails for those of you that might be interested I love this nail color and it is NYC wine bar And this is a beautiful wine color. Love it, love it. I got this at Walmart. And that's it there. I have never had a gel manicure, you know, the professional gel manicure done before. I have gel top coats. But in my opinion, this nail polish along with the top coat that I used, um, to me, it looks like a gel manicure. I don't know. It's so shiny. It's so creamy. I just love this color. Yes, is it? Yeah. So that is my um, manicure. And what I did was I kind of my my top almost matches my eye color <laughs> oh. so anyway guys i hope that you enjoy this thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye